Welcome to a video from digitallifestyle.com. In this video we're going to look at this Lumia 640 from Microsoft. It's a new phone, uh, launched a couple of months ago and uh, it now carries the Microsoft branding and not the Nokia branding since Microsoft purchased the Nokia phone division. So we'll open up the phone, open up the box and we'll have a look at the phone. So here's the phone and um, the first thing you'll notice is it's got this glance screen on here. This uh, you can set to stay on all the time. Or you can set it to come on when it detects some movement, when you start to touch the screen, and it'll go off once more after five minutes. And it's, it will use a very low power mode to, to drive this, so it's not using a lot of battery up. This has been on for ages, and uh, it's got loads of battery left. So uh, that's the first thing you notice. And also, the thing I really like on this is which a feature that some of the bigger phones have got is the double tap to, to wake, which is really nice, so you don't have to fumble around for the power switch. So this is kind of a replacement really I think or, uh, for the 635 and 630 range. This is a 630, um, the older device. So you can see how it's grown on there. Um, so it's slightly thin I would say, not much, probably about the same, uh, but it is taller. And uh, I personally am a fan of a bigger phone and so I quite like that. It's, that size screen, my own phone is a Lumia 1520, which is even bigger still. I quite like I like this orange, shiny orange back as well. I think that's quite nice. And this comes off here. So you can take the back off and there is space for a um, micro SD card and a micro SD card and a micro SIM, not a nano SIM but it's a micro SIM and removable battery as well notice also the Microsoft branding when you power it on so while that's loading up I can tell you some of the spec it's a um, 5 inch screen running at 1280 by 720 and uh, I really like the screen, it's got a nice sharp look with a good colour balance well. It's got a very nice sharp screen on it. I, I really like the screen. It's uh, very clear and um, it's got a good white balance on it. So it uh, it does feel like a, like a quite an expensive phone when you look at this screen. Okay, it's not the really high res screen, uh, like a 1080p screen like my 1520 or some of the new Android phones or, or even double that. But uh, it has got a good screen. I just said while we're talking about price it's a kind of a mid-range price it's 169 pounds sim free so you can get it cheaper if you get it on contract and i think that's a, a, a nice price it's a bit of step up step up from the 635 which you can sort of be getting sort of 60 to 80 pounds but you're getting a bigger phone i actually i actually quite like it, it does feel quite nice actually it does feel a bit more like a premium phone as with all nokia phones they're, they're well made and this is continues that tradition even though it's microsoft it's got a, um, a quad-core 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm processor, but a uh, great thing about Windows Phone is it's not really reliant on a heavy processor, so um, it's very smooth, as you can see, switching between apps and scrolling through. I tried my age-old testing Minecraft on here. I see it's nice and quick. It, where it it differs from the 635, it's got 1 gig of RAM instead of 512, so things do load quicker than they would do on um, the 635 or maybe the 525, I think, which has a lower RAM. So they are running Minecraft, and see, it's pretty smooth on there. Um, so you'd have no problems running Minecraft on here. And the good thing about having one gig of RAM means as well that all the games should work. There are some games that don't work on the lower RAM. In ports, you've got uh, micro USB. There's no wireless charging on this. It's just micro USB and a headphone there, port there at the top. You've got a rear camera with LED flash. The camera is an um, 8 megapixel rear camera. And it's quite a decent uh, little camera in it, so let's say. Uh, but what it hasn't got, which I do miss, is it hasn't got a camera button. You've got to actually use there. There's no dedicated hardware camera button like there is on um, some other phones. Let's take a picture with this. I'll show you what that means in a minute. Yeah, nice. 
decent image on there and even though it was quite dark we've got decent zoom and that's my uh, Surface Pro next to this device. I'll, I'll include um, a blog post with this on the digitallifestyle.com which I'll perhaps take some pictures from outside and to, to show that off. Now what I was saying, what I was um, mentioning before you saw that swipe up option, that swipe up brings the Windows uh, key, the search and the back key on say my um, 1520, their hardware buttons and on the 635 this is running Windows 10 but they're always there so it's just a slightly different implementation but yeah they get out of the way when you don't need them and you can swipe them up when you when you want them back there's a front facing camera as well uh, which is okay for selfies I'm not sure the spec I couldn't find Microsoft undocumented that spec but uh, um, it's not like the selfie phone like the um, 735 but it is good enough for Skype I mean we can give that a try So there's the front facing camera and um, actually that's much better than the I think it was the 435 I reviewed recently much higher quality than that and of course we could put it on we could use a selfie app to put it on a on a timer or something like that uh, there is a Lumia selfie app I think but uh, we'll take that on there anyway so the camera would be great for Skype anyway there is a 2500 milliamp battery with it which seems to give you a fair uh, de decent charge a couple of days I think really let's have a look in fact what we could do is look at the battery saver app now this hasn't got a sim card at the moment so it's not that reflective I did have a sim card in it and I was getting well over a couple of days without charge so this has been on for five hour, five days and two hours without, uh, without charging um, that's because it's not had the sim card in when I did have the sim card in it I was getting it well over a couple of days before I charged it up so uh, really good strong battery life on this um, I won't go into Windows Phone on here if you're familiar with Windows Phone you get the idea if you're not then there's plenty of other videos you can, you can have a look at one thing I will do say on this though this does have uh, Windows Phone 8.1 update 2 which is a relatively new update and um, one of the changes in this are the setting screens which are in this categorized view so um, in Windows Phone 8 1 uh, update, the original update, update 1 they're just in a long list like they are on my Lumia 1520 but on this one they're broken down into categories other thing it does is support as well is a Bluetooth keyboard um, not Bluetooth mouse I believe, mouse I think that needs, you need Windows 10 for that but this does support Bluetooth keyboard Another nice thing is you get a year's Office 365 subscription, uh, personal edition, so that means you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint uh, and OneNote all included, so you can on a PC as well, um, so that's the full version of that, so that's it's about £80-£90 pound a year, something like that, so that's well uh, worth, uh, that's a good edition that, that comes with it, so really you can get this in a laptop, and a, you get yourself a budget laptop and you really kit it out for a relatively low low price. Look at the, let's look at the browser, there can be a performance, so I've just loaded up Internet Explorer and uh, again, very fast, no, no lag on there, it's definitely faster than this uh, 635 which does lag quite a bit, now it's running Windows 10, even when it was on Windows 8.1 there's the occasional pause, I've got the Microsoft Health app for the Microsoft Band and that does struggle to load sometimes, it just it seems to take a while and I think that's due to the memory this is nice and instant and you can see there you've got a nice clear screen so what's it like for the sound, let's try some music on it so that's the uh, music on, on full volume uh, it's quite a decent volume I guess, the speaker grill is there on the back It's a little bit of a tinny side for, but then you know, what do you expect for a small, uh, low price phone? I think it's pretty good for that. Other things, it's got an FM radio. It doesn't seem to come with a lot of. Um, 
it's got an FM radio and it doesn't seem to come a lot a lot of bloke where you, know, you get all those things like here drive for sat nav and um, maps offline maps as well you get lumia apps like these uh, camera app lumia camera app and the storyteller app the camera app is actually nice um it gives you quite a lot of control over the settings on there uh, you've got iso settings white balance um aperture settings and all that kind of thing you can do um from the camera app so the camera the camera app is pretty good and then this is the app that comes with all the lumi devices so i really like this phone i think it's a nice little phone uh, mid to budget phone 160 quid 170 quid without any contracts on it it's not as elegant as the something like the 725 which is um a higher end phone in terms of design i think it feels more with the polycarbonate body you can check out our video of that as well but i think this is a nice step up from the 635 and it will run windows 10 really well i'm sure and um, it's um the extra memory will help that as well so you can find out more on our, the link that goes along with the video on the if you've got any questions feel free to ask me ian at the or you can answer contact us for youtube channel thanks for watching this one i'll see you in the next one bye